Today, we're taking a look at the Hasselblad V to Hasselblad XCD Rhinocam Vertex Medium Format Stitching Adapter. This adapter allows you to mount vintage Hasselblad V medium format film lenses to your Hasselblad XCD camera, like this X1D2, and it offsets the lens and allows you to rotate the camera 360 degrees around the vertex of the lens to capture four images that you then stitch together in post for a larger format digital image. So this isn't just a normal adapter, it's a stitching adapter. Uh, this is the front of the adapter. This is where you mount the Hasselblad V medium format lens. This is the rear back here. This is where you mount your XCD Hasselblad digital camera. And uh, then you've got a tripod foot on the bottom. This is to lock the adapter down to a tripod so you can take your four images without moving the lens. And this adapter rotates 360 degrees to capture those four stitched images. So we're going to unlock it here. And then it's got four click points. So you take your first picture, rotate to the first click, take your second, rotate to the third click, take your third, and then ro rotate to the fourth click and take your fourth shot. So those four clicks will tell you where to orient the camera to take your four images that you then stitch together in post. And as you can see, this is a very durable all metal adapter. It's got this nice black finish to it. It fits very nicely in with the rest of your Hasselblad XCD gear. And uh, it also has matte black paint on the interior, and that is to reduce reflections. So you won't have any light bouncing around inside the adapter. So yeah, this is a very durable adapter, very heavy duty, and it works great out in the field when you're shooting stitched photos. You might ask, how am I able to adapt a vintage Hasselblad film lens to a modern Hasselblad digital camera? And the answer is simple, it's focal flange distance. The focal flange distance is the distance necessary between the rear of your lens and the film plane or sensor of your camera for the lens to focus to infinity. Now, older film cameras generally needed more space between where the lens mounted and where the film plane was because they needed mechanisms such as mirrors that went up and down uh, so you could view your image and compose it before you took your shot. And because these lenses required more space between the film plane and the lens, they had a longer flange distance, that means we can adapt them to modern digital cameras. We have space between the lens and digital camera to put an adapter. And that's how we're able to adapt vintage film lenses to modern digital cameras, as well as how we're able to create adapters with all sorts of interesting mechanisms, like this Rhinocam Vertex adapter. We've got all that extra space to work with so we can create rotating stitching adapters like the Rhinocam. Now, how exactly does this Rhinocam Vertex stitching adapter work? How am I able to rotate this camera's sensor uh, around the vertex of this lens and capture four images that I stitched together without getting any vignetting. And what it comes down to is the image circle of this medium format lens. The image circle of this lens is much larger than the center of this digital medium format camera. Now it is true this is a medium format camera, but the sensor still is smaller than a Hasselblad V's film plane. The sensor is not as big as a piece of medium format film. And subsequently, the image circle of this lens is large enough that we can rotate this camera around the vertex, the center of the lens, without getting any vignetting. We're able to use more of the image circle of this Hasselblad V lens and get closer to the type of image we'd be able to capture with a Hasselblad V camera. So basically this Rhinocam Vertex stitching adapter allows us to create a square six by six style image that looks a lot closer to what you could capture with a Hasselblad V film camera. Now this is a fully manual adapter. As you can see, there's no electronic communication pins on the front or rear. And uh, these Hasselblad V lenses are fully manual lenses to begin with. So that means you are not going to have electronic autofocus or aperture control with this adapter. You'll have to adjust the focus of your Hasselblad V lens and the aperture manually. And I definitely recommend shooting in manual mode, picking a manual ISO, a manual shutter speed, and then you know, picking a aperture on the lens, focusing it, and then just adjusting the shutter speed on your XCD camera uh, so you get a correct exposure. You can basically just use the built-in light meter in this camera to get your exposure correct. So it's basically like shooting with a film camera. Just shoot fully manual and you will be all set. 
Now, there are a couple things you need to know about setting up your Hasselblad V lens before you mount it on the adapter. Let me show you how to do that now. Uh, Hasselblad V lenses were designed to communicate with Hasselblad V cameras. And as you can see, currently the shutter inside the lens is closed. So if we want to adapt this lens and use it on our mirrorless camera, we need to open that shutter. And the way to do that is to adjust this little piece right here. Now we can use a Hasselblad tool, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a simple flathead screwdriver. You're simply going to place it in here and you're going to rotate it. And if we rotate it all the way, we should have locked open the shutter. As you can see, shutter is now open. So now we can adapt this lens to the camera and we can actually have the sensor see through it and we can use the shutter inside our digital camera rather than the shutter in this lens. Now, the other thing we have to do is turn on the depth of field preview on this lens and keep it on. Uh, so when we adjust the aperture, it's actually adjusting currently, no matter what I do, as I turn the aperture ring, the lens is staying wide open. This lens was designed to keep the leaf shutter wide open inside the lens until you took a shot and then it would close it down to whatever aperture you had it set to. But when we adapt this lens, we're gonna wanna set the aperture in real time. And the way we do that is we use this lever right here. This is the depth of field preview lever, and we're just going to engage it by sliding it this way and keeping it locked in place. As you can see now, I can adjust my aperture and it is opening and closing. Because I have the depth of field preview lever engaged, I can set the aperture to whatever I want and it's setting it right there. And that allows me to shoot with my mirrorless camera with this lens adapted to it and have the correct aperture. Now that you have the lens set up, it's time to mount it on the adapter. Mounting it is fairly simple. You're just going to find the red mounting dot on your lens, line it up with the red mounting dot on the RhinoCam Vertex, slide the lens into the adapter, and then rotate it to lock it into place. Then if you need to remove the lens, there's this little silver tab here. This is actually a button. You're just gonna press this down, rotate the lens to remove it from the adapter. Now, one of the questions we get a lot from people thinking about buying our adapters is how much play is between the lens and adapter. That's basically how much does the lens rotate? How loose is it in the mount? And as I can show you here, there is very little rotation. You can hear a little bit of clicking there. You can see it moving slightly, but it's pretty locked into place. Play is pretty good. It's pretty tight in there. Next up, let's mount the adapter and lens on our Hasselblad XCD camera. It's just like mounting a normal lens. You're gonna find the red mounting dot on the adapter, line it up with the mounting dot on the camera, and then rotate it to lock it to the camera. And again, let's check the play this time between the adapter and camera. You can hear a little bit of clicking. There's a very slight shift, but it's very minimal. So yeah, it's pretty good play between the adapter and Hasselblad camera. Now, before we can use this manual lens on this digital Hasselblad camera, there is one setting in the camera we have to change, and let me show you how to do that. To get our Hasselblad XCD to work with an adapted lens, we have to go to Menu, then we have to go to the Exposure submenu, and then turn Electronic Shutter on. Once Electronic Shutter is on, we can now use the Electronic Shutter built into the Hasselblad XCD camera, and we don't have to rely on the camera looking for an electronic shutter in an XCD electronic lens. So basically by turning on the electronic shutter, we can use any manual adapted lens. Okay, we've got our lens set up, we've got our camera set up. Now it's time to shoot some stitched images with our RhinoCam Vertex adapter. First off, we're gonna to want to lock the adapter down on a tripod with our tripod foot and this quarter 20 mounting point. This tripod foot also has an Arca Swiss design to it, so you can actually slide it directly into an Arca Swiss mount on an Arca Swiss style tripod, or you can just mount it with the quarter 20, whichever works better. Once you have the RhinoCam adapter locked down on a tripod, it's time to compose your image. And composing your image can be a bit tricky uh, because this is a rotating adapter. It does capture four images that you stitch together. So to compose, I recommend kind of setting up your shot and then rotating to the four points to kind of get an idea for what the final square image is gonna look like when it's stitched. And then make some slight adjustments on the tripod until you're happy uh, with what the four images are showing you. So you kind of have an idea for what your composed image is gonna look like. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your lens is all set, choose an aperture, 
make sure you are in focus. And once that's set, make sure you have your manual settings set up in your camera. We don't want to leave anything in auto. We don't want the color balance to be auto, the ISO to be auto, or the shutter speed to be auto, because we want the four images to be very similar to each other, so they're easier to stitch together. If we left the color balance in auto, it might do a slightly different color balance between the four images, and then when we stitch them together, you could have a weird fluctuation of color throughout the stitched image. So it's better just to set everything manually and keep it all locked in place for your four images. Once you have your composition, your lens, and your camera all set, it's time to take your four images. In the first position, you're going to take your first photo, then rotate to the second position, take the second photo, rotate to the third position, we're now upside down, take the third photo, and then rotate to the fourth position, take our fourth photo. Then we have all four photos captured. We can bring these into an app like Photoshop, use Photo Merge to stitch them together for a medium format six by six square style image. Here are a couple more shooting tips for the RhinoCam Vertex adapter. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the image you're capturing is fairly still. There's not too much motion in it. If you're capturing, say, a photo of a crowd and you've got lots of people walking back and forth in different directions, uh, as you're taking your four images, those four images won't stitch together that well. You know, in one shot, you might have a person standing there, but in the other shot, they've moved. So now there's two of them uh, in the same stitched image. So generally speaking, we don't recommend using RhinoCam Vertex for large crowds. Now with movement like wind or water, we do recommend using a long exposure and then you can blur uh, that movement and then the images do stitch together much easier. Now we don't just make RhinoCam Vertex for Hasselblad V to Hasselblad XCD. We carry a whole line of RhinoCam Vertex adapters for various medium format and even full frame lens mounts to various mirrorless camera systems. So if you'd like to learn more about all of the RhinoCam Vertex adapters we have to offer, click the link in the description below. Also click the link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about this specific adapter, this Hasselblad V to Hasselblad X1D adapter, and comment below if you have any questions or comments about this video, anything I said, uh, any questions about how this stitching adapter works, comment below, I'd love to help you out. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos like this, uh, be they tutorial videos, demo videos. We even do a little bit of fun DIY from time to time. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com and have fun shooting with RhinoCam Vertex stitching adapters.